Oh yeah, is it this button? Oh, there we go. Okay, so we do that. Press this. And make it taller. Don't want the chimps crawling over, right? But how do we make it climb proof? Can we not do that with the glass? Well, hopefully it'll just be fine. are you even talking about? Nothing is obstructed! Oh, good lord. So you're, you're really trying to tell me... What is happening? <laughs> I just want the staff to be able to get in! Wait, what? went offline um i guess we're back now i'm sorry guys i have no idea what happened that was, that was happening before just randomly disconnected hate it how is this obstructed okay so that's just not we're not gonna have the barrier the night not gonna have the gate there can we get rid of that? Yep. Okay. Okay, no, 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 no. Just a regular path. It's cool with me. Staff gate. Boom. Now we can get. Select them all. We're going to send them all to the zoo. I don't know what chimps like, but we're going to find out. And hopefully they don't climb over the barriers and escape into the zoo. Climbable. Large animal climbing. There we, there we go. That'll be fun. Okay, here come... Oh, I thought they were delivering the animals. Time remaining four minutes. Oh, he's bringing something. Oh. Chimp, chimp. Yeah. Awesome. Okay, let's make him happy. Needs more short grass. More chimps. There we go. They're happy with this. Huh. 
Okay. Back in. All right. Now, need more climbing area? Wait, is it too much or too little? Need more. There we go. All your climbing needs. Need more plant coverage. <laughs> Thanks, Ashley. I have no idea why it did, did that a few times this week. It's so frustrating. It just randomly disconnects. It's not choppy. No drop frames. Just randomly fully disconnects. Habitat cleanliness is a disease risk. I wasn't taught about that. The tap ear. Well, how do I get... Is I, hopefully they... Do they do it? I have no idea. I wasn't taught about this. Okay. Oh, look at these monkeys. Chimps. I know there's a difference. Okay, we gotta get them plant coverage. That's nice, sure. Uh-oh, what was that? What just happened? Plants are good, need more coverage though. Okay, there are the big trees. Beautiful. We're doing it, y'all. Getting the hang of this. Okay, we need to get them some enrichment, though. Cardboard box is fun, right? I feel like anything will entertain a chimp. What is this thing? Oh, listen to their sounds. So cute. Tire. Why isn't it not going up? I don't understand. Toys. Literally just putting everything I can in here. Rubbing pillar. That's probably not going to do anything. Why is it not going up? More climbables? I don't know. I have no idea. I'm giving them everything. Toys. Mirror. There we go. That did it. Can I do multiple? They need more hard shelter. There we go. Okay, toy enrichment's good. Let's get them food enrichment. Mm-hmm. Don't know what that does, but apparently it's good. Get them some hard shelter and we'll be looking good. Oh yeah, the chimps are looking good. Is this stream to Twitch better? Yeah, you're right. I never thought about it that way. Look at these guys. He loves it. He loves the habitat I made for him. He's just having a grand old time. I love it. This game is so wholesome. Look at all these people coming to the chimps. It's a COVID fest, y'all. 
Okay, so where are we at? We need one more. Yep, one more species. I think it's particularly weird when the stream just disconnects and there was like no choppiness beforehand. Just It just goes. Okay. What species should we do next, y'all? We already have ring-tailed lemurs, so we can't do that. It has to be new. Red roughed lemur. I don't know if we have any of those. We do have red rough lemur. We do have ring-tailed and red rough, so we can't do those. Can we sort by species that we don't have? We have hippos. I feel like we have mandrills too. So, well. Bornean orangutan. We have mandrills. Do we have a Bornean orangutan? Yeah, we do. Oh, they did say. Did say we might have to do exhibit animals. Exhibit. Tra oh, here we go. Okay, Goliath frog. Tigers would be dope. I wish that was available. I don't think we're at that point yet. Otherwise, they because this this is like the animal market. These are all the ones we can do. There are no tigers, unfortunately. I think we'll probably unlock that later in the game. Still tutorial mode, you know. So here we've got these. Iguanas, frogs, Gila monster we already have, snails. All right, so snail, frog, or iguana, y'all. Got to pick a habitat to put them in, too. Habitats are easy. Look at my man over here, this Gila monster. He's just thriving. Thriving. Frog? Goliath frog? All right, bet. I just got to find the habitat to put him in. I guess I can just kind of throw it wherever, huh? Can I just build it up on a platform over here? This looks like a good spot. Exhibit. I keep getting those mixed up. Uh, exhibit, small animal exhibits, yes. I think I need to build the platform construction. Architecture. Maybe it might be just, yeah, there we go. Why can't it connect? That's just annoying. Are you kidding me? <laughs> this is starting to look like the derpy roller coaster theme parks I had in Roller Coaster Tycoon when I was a kid. Okay. All right. Well, that's that. Okay. I need a platform. How do we build these, like, platforms where you can just add things where were exhibits again uh, gotta figure out how to like have a big raised platform floors That's so stupid. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, you know, oh, I don't know why I didn't think about this before. Whoa. Click, I'll just click on this. No? 
Can't just click on it. Not the bush. Oh, good lord. What? What's happening? I just built a hole in the... F okay. Accidental hole in the floor. Nobody fall in. It's super dangerous. I literally just want to put a dang exhibit. Paths and terrain. Maybe if I just... No. I just want space for my exhibit. <laughs> oh gosh. Can I put it here now, please? This is horrible. Okay, you know what? Put it right here. We're gonna build a dang path all the way down somehow. I don't know how. We'll figure it out. How do we get it to go down? There we go. Learning, y'all. Man, people are gonna go ha have to go out of their way to get to this exhibit. <laughs> so dumb. Okay. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a huge staircase. Just for, we better make it good. I guess the frogs, the frogs better be good. Oh, yeah. My, my, you have been busy, haven't you? Yeah, I have. Blended. But now that you've adopted all these lovely new species, we need to make sure they're nice and happy. So yeah, yeah, let's yeah. Let's get the average welfare across the zoo nice and high, shall we? And yeah. we, I mean you. Go on, get to it. Yeah, I'm working on it, Nancy. Layout options are unlocked through vet research. So... Get her on the Goliath frog then. Yeah. Temperature. You know, it says decreasing, but it does not look like it's decreasing. They better have their own rock band. Yeah, that would be awesome. I bet there's probably a way to do it in this game. Like, put a stage and have music. I know you can have speakers. Check this out. We'll put, like, an educational speaker here. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Yeah. Our music speaker. Here we go. Why not? <laughs> We're going to listen to some awesome music while we... Africa playlist, North America. Uh, where's the rock at? Okay, there's no rock. It looks like. I don't know, maybe North America playlist? I have no idea. Doesn't have power, right? Why would it? Oh, they're in there! Look at those frogs! Wow. Not happy. They're not happy. <laughs> Yeah, why is the temperature not changing? Animal welfare has attracted protesters. That's not good. Is it because there's no power, maybe? It's probably because there's no power. And I don't know how to get power. No power. It says that right there. Okay, yeah, well let's not have the protesters. How do we get how do we get power? Solar panel? <laughs> I'm desperate. Power. 
Is there a way to like connect it? Is there cables? I don't know what I'm doing. I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, it has power now. Let's go. <laughs> Rachel, thanks for the follow. You scared the actual crap out of me. I was not ready for that and it was really loud, but that's not your fault. It's my fault for having the notification set up like that. Really appreciate the follow though. Welcome. Oh gosh. You're happy you scared me? Good. Well, now I'm awake. I can really take better care of these animals now. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, we got the right temperature. Can't do anything with the layout yet. But they're looking good. Look, nutrition, social health, and exhibit are all solid. And I literally can't do anything about the layout until... Apparently I can't do anything about it until later. It all goes according to plan. Exactly. So uh, are you pretty familiar with this game, Ray? Okay. So we gotta get the next goal, I guess, is to get overall welfare to 90%. Still learning it, it's pretty fun. Yeah, I'm liking it so far. So I, you probably already know this. This is the second tutorial world. So I'm definitely still learning the ropes. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Where are... Okay. These bonobos are not as happy as they could be. What can I do for you, bonobos? As moderate welfare. We need more hard shelter. I can provide that. Okay, that's not enough. There we go. Right to franchise mode. And keep going broke. Oh, that's funny. Hey, you know, jump right into the fire. It's a good way to learn. I just know that if I if I don't do the tutorial, I'm just going to get frustrated and eventually give up because I'm impatient. But that's 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 a flaw on my part. Okay. So those bonobos should get happier over time, I'm guessing. Right? What else can I... Oh, they don't have anything in, for enrichment. Whoa, okay. Well, th that... Gotta fix that. Toys. Let's give them toys. Yeah. Nope, not that. They don't, they don't care about that. They like that. They like the mirrors. And the music, music toys. Oh yeah. Uh, nope. Over time, I guess I'll learn what animals like what. A ball, oh yeah, they love the little beach balls. Nope, they don't care about the tire. Look at him, he's playing the piano. Look at this little guy. I love him. That was a beautiful performance, my man. Okay, we're getting there with the enrichment. Um, one more toy would do the job with the species toy enrichment. Block of ice? I guess block of ice does it. Is that going to just stay there? We got our pooper scooper up here. All right, we need food enrichment. Forage box was good for the the chimpanzees, so. Lovely job there. You hey, we did it. Proud of yourself. Not only have you expanded the zoo and kept the animals as happy as Lanny, but you didn't bankrupt us in the process. Amazing. I didn't think about money at all, Nancy. So. Thanks for the huge budget, I guess. Wow. Well, you've certainly transformed the zoo. I barely recognize it. 
a wonderful new exhibit, some fascinating new species, and you've done wonders for the animals welfare <laughs> by enriching their habitat. Look at this stupid exhibit <laughs> with this huge flight of stairs and a solar panel and just on. one frog exhibit. I mean, other than professional soccer players. Hilarious. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't easy though. I expect money was tighter than a possum's pouch. Flying it wasn't. It wasn't, Bernie. The animals doesn't make running these places a picnic. Although, <laughs> it does make me feel a little less guilty about how much our gift shops charge. <laughs> no, as far as I'm concerned, the only reason to run a zoo is to help animal kind. Sadly, Heck yeah, Bernie. It appears some other people have far less noble goals. Oh, is that... Is that, is that foreshadowing? Y'all, I just want y'all who are just joining in to check out these freaking hippos. Have you ever seen a cuter thing in your life? He's just sleeping. Crazy that they're the most murderous animal on the planet or whatever. Because they're so cute. They're like manatees that roam around on Earth. But they actually aren't mostly water, right? Yeah. Okay. Um, I guess we're done with this part of the tutorial. We go on to the next one. This game is a lot deeper than I expected. Panda Park. Oh, we're doing pandas. Let's go. I'm excited about this one. I love pandas. Who doesn't love pandas? All right, I'm ready. I didn't buy a solid state drive to watch chimp animations forever. Must be a big one. They are legit the best. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is beautiful. Ah, oh, pandas. <laughs> and they're my daughter's favorite animal. <laughs> I think it's fair to say that if ever there was an animal which has captured the public's imagination, it's pandas. I mean, well, that's there's a reason. You ignore cats and dogs, obviously. It'll take more than a cute I see alligators. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, but did you know? Thanks to the incredible conservation work that's being done in China and around the world, pandas are no longer endangered. <laughs> Amazing. Is that actually true? That that's said, so nice. They're still considered vulnerable. So, this zoo is extraordinarily lucky and honored to be part of that conservation effort. It that's really so nice. This game is literally so wholesome. That you're going to be in maintaining along with all the uh, general maintaining too. I really can tell you how important the welfare of those pandas is. Oh, wait, I can. <laughs> it is vitally important. The eyes of the world are on you, my friend. Although, <laughs> perhaps the more presently, the eyes of Nancy are on you, too. <laughs> you really think you're funny, aren't you? Don't you, Bernie? Welcome okay, to yeah. China. This is Bernie's brand new panda celebration zoo. So oh, I love it. But it's not quite finished, but we'll deal with that later. First, let's take a tour of the zoo. Okay, Nancy. Obviously, the giant pandas are the main attraction for this zoo, and luckily for us, we have one which was born just a few days ago. Oh, I'm ready. Let's go and have a look at it. Where? Where, go Nancy? On. Don't be shy. Select the panda cub. Where? You, okay, so you're making me do it this way? Okay, no, 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 no. That's what I thought. <sighs> Is that him? And click on the camera to enter animal camera mode. You already know I'm going to. Look at him! Oh, doesn't it just warm the cockles uh, of your heart? So it cute. does. It does warm the cockles of my heart. Giant pandas or Ailuropoda melanoleuca, if we're being formal, are the only entirely herbivorous bears. They can actually eat up to 38 kilos of bamboo a day. 
that's a lot of bamboo. Given that they'll spend up to 14 hours a day chomping away. I don't imagine this little fluff ball has that kind of appetite yet, though. Wow, oh, no. I'm in love. I just got word from one of our keepers that a sable antelope was placed into a habitat without going through quarantine first, and that they're displaying signs of oh, disease. Oh, there's disease in we'll this game, guys. We'll have to move them into quarantine to stop the infection from spreading to the other animals. To do that, go to the highlighted habitat, find the infected animal, and then select them to bring up their information panel. Speaking of quarantine and disease and infections, none of your guests are wearing masks, lady. <laughs> okay, so we got an infected now, antelope. And then transfer them into quarantine. I've highlighted Where's... the quarantine facility in the zoo for you. Where? Okay. Quarantine facility. Oh, phew. That's a relief. Now that hmm. we've stopped the infection from spreading any further, we need to build a vet surgery so the antelope can be treated and then return to his habitat. Okay. I've already highlighted where I'd like you to build it, so why don't we head over there? Okay. I'm here. In order to build the vet surgery, click on facilities, staff facilities, and then vet surgeries. Okay. I'm working on it, game. I'm working on it. Connected to a path. There we go. Oh, good lord. You kidding me with this? <laughs> okay. Here, I'll do this one. It's smaller. It'd probably fit better. Okay. Got it. That's the job. Vet surgeries play a very important role in a zoo, as they're the only places that vets can treat the animals. Once there's room for the antelope, the vet will pick them up from quarantine and bring them to the surgery. Okay. Mm. Yes, diseases can spread through a habitat. I love how they carry them in boxes. Especially if the water inside it isn't being cleaned regularly. <laughs> inside is As all happens, rocks. I just got a report that one of our water treatment facilities has broken down, and the water in the flamingo and saltwater crocodile habitats has gotten dirty. <clears throat> I've highlighted the water treatment facility for you, so you should go and check it out. I was wondering how we handle the dirty facilities and whatnot click on the water treatment facility to bring up its information panel okay yes i don't think you need a degree in mechanics to tell that this thing's thoroughly banjaxed click call mechanic to get them to learning a lot of new words interest. from nancy today so just to explain water treatment facilities work in a similar manner to power sources in that they have a radius of influence around them that means any body of water which is even partly within that radius will be cleaned automatically. Oh, also, okay. like the power sources, if they get damaged, that radius of influence will shrink, meaning that it might stop cleaning water sources which were only just within its reach. Mm. If you want to check how much of your zoo is covered by your water treatment facilities, then there's a heat map you can use to see the coverage. That way, you can quickly spot problem areas and rectify the issue. Okay. Well, I called the mechanic. There he is. Oh, yeah. He's on it. Did he fix it? Looks like Good he's walking word. away and it's still broke. Okay, now okay the he fixed it. the water treatment facility has been repaired, the water will be cleaned up in two shapes of a lamb's tail. <laughs> you can also use mechanics to repair power facilities, transport rides, bins, benches, signs, and, as you already know, habitat barriers. Now, I'll be honest, I'm still a little worried about that disease scare we had. So I think yeah. we should do some research into it. Doing research into a disease can help prevent future outbreaks of it. And even if okay. we do have an outbreak, it'll make the disease much less potent. I'd like you to start some research into border telosis. Disease research can be found in vet research. So head over to your research oh, okay. center and get one of the vets researching it. 
Is this it? Okay. How do I... Not the vet surgery. Reese. Oh. Well, let's. Uh. Okay. Where's the research center? That's quarantine. That's vet surgery. Where's the research center? Oh. Go to vet. Oh, it's. Oh, it's in here. Duh. Sherry, get on that board of telosis. Is complete. I expect we'll send that disease packing in no time. Excellent. Whew. That was a close run thing with those antelopes. <laughs> I dread to think what might have happened if you hadn't got them into quarantine as quickly as you did. Fast mm. thinking there. We had a horrible Thanks, Bernie. viral gastroenteritis here at Goodwin House. Although, luckily, <laughs> that was just limited to me and my wife. Right. Now Good we've one. got all our urgent tasks in hand, we can start to focus on the guests and improving their time in the park. You see, you can also do research into new and improved guest facilities, transport rides, as well as new types of barrier and other things via the workshop. I've okay. highlighted the workshop for you, so head over there, select it, and then click on View Workshop. Uh... Head over there, select it, and click on View Workshop. There's the building. Where's View Workshop? I don't see that anywhere. Uh... And finally, assign a mechanic to research souvenir shops by dragging and dropping them onto it. Oh. I can't wait to see what they come up with. What did she want me to research? What did she say? Souvenir shops? Great that sounds right. Stuff. That research will take a little while, so let's have a look at something else in the meantime. Because we've had some good news. Oh, did a panda give birth? No, the antelope got fixed. It'd be way it better if we had a baby you're panda. To adopt more giant pandas. The yes. authorities have given us three females to help with our breeding program. Yes. Even so, I'm sure you Injected know how my veins, Nancy. difficult it is to get pandas to breed, so we'll have to be patient. Our current giant panda habitat is full to the brim, but luckily we've already got another This place looks amazing at night. Go. I want to go here. But before we move our new pandas in, they'll need to go through quarantine. Of course, we can't do that until we've accepted them. <laughs> So open up Animal mm. Trading and go into the Animal Reward section. Finally, we can How send lovely. them from Animal Storage to Quarantine. To do that, just select them in Animal Storage, then click Send to Zoo, and then click I'm way on ahead the of you, Nancy. facility in the zoo. Don't worry, I've highlighted it for you so you can find it easily. I, I, I straight up want to go to this park. It's not real, I know, but I wish it was. New habitat, so they feel at home in there. You know what, y'all? I unfortunately got to call it a night. But I love this game, and I'm really excited to keep learning it. I'll probably stream more of it tomorrow if you guys want to stop by. Um, so, yeah. Thank y'all for joining in. Ray Chill, thanks for the follow. Good to see you. Nice to meet you. Hope to see you on the next ones. Tara, Ashley, thank you all for stopping by. It was really good to have you. Hope you all have a really good night. And to the lurkers out there, I appreciate you as well. I'm going to head out. Everybody have a good night. I'll see you later.